Assalamu alaikum, I'm Saika and today's video is a bit different as I'm opening up about my personal journey in breaking free from the clutches of social media addiction. I hope my story will resonate with you and inspire you to make positive change. So let's start with the raw truth. I used to spend hours and hours mindlessly scrolling through social media until I realised it was affecting my relations and my work performance. Social media has lots of pros and cons. And I'm completely for social media, but we need to keep the right balance. And one of its cons is addiction. It's purposely designed to keep us engaged so we can just spend a lot of time on social media. Addiction will make us slaves to social media. Addiction will control us. Rasulullah told us in hadith there are two blessings that we lose out on and they are health and time and social media addiction makes us waste our time and affects our health it affects our sleep pattern we don't sleep properly we have no physical activities and it's very unhealthy also throughout the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to be mindful of allah and social media just doesn't allow us to be mindful and if we are not mindful we just lose out on our relationships we don't do well in studies we don't have good work performance it just affects us we are going to lose our dunya if we are not mindful also, Rasulullah Sallam told us to look at those people who are lower than us. This keeps us grounded and more appreciative. But on social media, everything we see just looks too perfect. And then we start to think, why am I not perfect? Why is my life not perfect? And this can lead to low self-esteem. Also, social media has actually become the result of loneliness. Because whenever we feel lonely, instead of going to a relative or a friend or our parents or partners and talking to them, we resort to social media. And social media has actually become the reason of our loneliness as well. And remember, Rasulullah said, if we leave anything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will replace it with something better. So if we are leaving social media for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah ta'ala will definitely replace it with something much, much better. Just remember one thing, addiction is the result of our desires. If we don't control our desires, they become addiction. And throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, control your desires. We don't want to become slaves to our desires if we become slaves to our desires that's a state of humiliation and disgrace and we are not going to be successful in the dunya or the akhira because addiction is going to make us fail in our studies it's going to make us fail in our work it's going to fail us in our relationships we're going to lose that dunya and also we are going to neglect our ibadah and we're going to fail in our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this failure is only going to lead us to the hellfire Rasulullah he said that paradise is surrounded with hardships and hellfire is surrounded with desires so we need to control our desires if we want to be successful in the dunya if we want to have a high status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for that we need to be in control of ourselves and we cannot allow social media to control us. I have personally been through those phases where I have spent hours and hours on social media just scrolling through meaningless posts and just wasting my time and alhamdulillah because I'm someone who does pay a lot of attention to where I spend my time I have been able to control myself at those early stages of addiction. So as soon as I realize I'm wasting a lot of time the first thing we all need to do is awareness. We need to know how many hours, how much time are we spending on social media? And the easiest thing to do that is just check your screen time. So sometimes when I've checked my screen time, I've been shocked like, oh my God, how can I spend all this many hours on social media? So first thing is awareness. As soon as I would realize I have been spending this much hours on social media, just, just scrolling, seriously, just watching meaningless stuff, and then the next thing is to decide how many hours do I want to cut out. So once you are aware of how much time you're spending on social media and how many hours you actually want to take out now, then I'm going to give you five tips. And I have actually personally followed some of these tips and they have worked for me. My first tip, I've called it elimination. Now, from time to time, an app which I have been addicted to in the past is Instagram and I have spent a lot of time on Instagram and whenever I feel like okay I'm spending a bit too much time on Instagram I delete that app I've deleted it for like a month or two months or three months and once even six months and after a couple of months when I actually you know download the app again I feel like I'm a lot more in control but after some time I would get addicted to it again these apps are addictive and every time I feel like okay I'm spending too much time on this app 
I will delete it again. So it's, it's just been a cycle with me and Instagram. Like I'm, I will delete it and then I'll download it again. And it's, it just helps in controlling uh, getting addicted to too much. Um, also, I try not to have too many social media apps. Um, I've just got Instagram. I did download TikTok, but within a few weeks, I just deleted it. I've deleted my Facebook. Uh, I have got Snapchat and just can't delete that because there's too many pictures on the cloud, but I don't really use it that much. Um, yep. So yes, yeah, my first tip, elimination. Let's move on to the second tip. So the second tip is replace. Sometimes we don't want to completely eliminate an app. We just want to replace the meaningless content with meaningful content. So when I've said that Instagram, I used to waste a lot of time and I deleted it. It's because I always felt like I wasn't watching anything meaningful, which was adding any value to my life. It was just meaningless, just scrolling. And I actually deleted my Instagram on 6th of October and then 7th of October happened. And then I downloaded it straight away because I needed to stay up to date with what's happening in Palestine and I would rather get my information directly from social media than watch the news channels here like there's no point in watching mainstream news we, we know the biases and so now even though I'm spending the same amount of time on my Instagram but I'm supporting a meaningful cause here and it feels like a form of ibadah every like every share every comment it's a form of ibadah because we are supporting a meaningful cause. So swap anything meaningless with something meaningful, something meaningful which adds value to your life, adds value to others' life, which is a form of ibadah. So also, you know, try to keep an eye on what times are you using your Instagram or any of your social media, your TikTok, anything, what times are you using it most? So maybe if you're using it in the early mornings just to kind of wake you up, then maybe you can listen to something good. Maybe listen to the Quran, listen to some nasheeds, listen to something useful. Or if it's at night time, you know, where you feel like you want to scroll, instead of scrolling, why not listen to a podcast? So just try to swap the meaningless content with something meaningful. So my third tip is intention. And I've been using all these tips. They've all worked for me. So intention is something very, very powerful. So let me just give you an example. For example, when I got my laptop, and I had this intention that laptop is strictly only for work purposes. That's my intention. I was like, I want to have baraka in all my work. I want to do well in all my studies and my work and everything that I do. And I do all my work on my laptop. So I was like, I want to have baraka and I want to use this laptop only for good purposes. So uh, no social media, no YouTube, nothing. All kind of forms of uh, entertainment are actually on my phone. And that's one f intention for the laptop. I had another intention when I used to do my alimiya is that every time, as soon as I got to the building, just before entering the building, I used to do a dua where I used to remind myself, okay, my intention is that now I'm entering this building and my whole day, that from nine to five, the whole day, it's going to be ibadah. And if I'm doing ibadah, I'm not going to use my social media in my lessons. So however boring the lesson was, however sleepy I was, I would not use my phone. I do the same thing for work. When I go to work, before entering my workplace, I always remind myself, I'm at work, my intention is this work is in Ibadah for me. And when it's in Ibadah for me, I, I don't use my social media. And I know my students do, and I always tell them not to, but they're still kids, it's going to take them some time. Uh, have those intentions. Work is Ibadah, studies are Ibadah. Your family time, that dinner time that you have with your family, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us to have good ties with our family. So that dinner time you are having with your family, it's a form of Ibadah. So just put your phone away. So have those strong intentions. These are Ibadah times and in my Ibadah times, I'm not going to use my phone. So you know when you're praying Salah, you don't stop halfway through your Salah and just get your phone and quickly just check your social media. Because you really feel like salah is ibadah. But remember in Islam, Islam is about a way of life. So a whole life can be an ibadah. But to make it into an ibadah, it depends on our intentions. So have those intentions that these are ibadah times. In my ibadah times, I'm not going to, you know, waste my time on social media. Have separate slots for social media as well. I'm not saying just completely eliminate it. I don't. Uh, I do have time. But just limit the amount of time you use for social media. So you're only using it for beneficial purposes and you're just not wasting time.
You can actually set limitations on your phone as well for certain apps. Personally, I've never really done that for myself, but yeah, if it works for you, give that a try as well. My fourth tip is have a social media fast. So you know how Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to keep a fast every Monday and Thursday? So maybe fix a day for yourself that on this day, I'm not going to use social media the whole day. So the whole day, don't use the social media. Or you can do like a certain hours of the day, like I'm leaving my house and I'm going to leave the phone at home. I'm just not going to take my phone with me. So, you know, if I'm going to a relative's house, today I'm going to leave my phone at home. I'm going to supermarket. I don't need my phone all the time. I'm going to leave the phone at home. And trust me, so hard. But when you leave the house and you don't have your phone on you, it's very hard. And if you can do sabr in that moment, that's it. You are going to get in control of yourself. So yeah, try to have a social media fast and work it out which day do you want to have the social media fast or for how many hours in a certain day do you want to have the social media fast. So in that fast, just make sure you're not using social media and the best thing is just don't have the phone on you. Test your southern. And finally, the fifth tip. This is a tip. It's all about visualization. I want you to visualize a path where you have given up the addiction of social media and you are using that time having good quality time with your family it's increasing your joy and your pleasure you have good time with your family you go to school called your uni and you pay attention to your studies and you're getting A grades. You're going to work and you are doing really well. Your performance is well and you are having a good day at work. When you're doing Ibadah, you're focused and you feel like you have a high status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of this is leading you to a path which is closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a path to Jannah. And conversely, also visualize you don't control your addiction. You're spending your day on your phone. You give no time to your family. You have no loved ones. They've all given up on you. You go to school or college and you're just on your phone and you fail. You go to work. You're just so much into social media. Your boss is not happy with you. You are losing out on your relations. You are losing out success in this world. And you start to neglect your ibadah. You don't feel close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And where is this path going to lead you? So visualize the path of joy, the path which leads to Jannah. And visualize the path of failure in the dunya, failure in the akhirah. And where is that path going to lead you to? Finally, I can just encourage you to reflect on your relationship with social media and how you can control by taking these small, small steps and get control over your life and have a high status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have success in both worlds. Until next time, be mindful and stay true to yourself. I hope this was beneficial. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.